Speculation about the One UI 7B that continues to swirl. Numerous rumors and denials have surfaced regarding the next major update for Galaxy devices, including proposed start dates that have yet to materialize. Now a fresh report suggests that Samsung will kick off its Android 15 beta program, One UI 7, in September. Additionally, it's claimed that One UI 6.11 has already begun rolling out to the Galaxy A35. Initially, the One UI 7 beta was expected to launch in late July. However, that timeline wasn't met, leaving Galaxy users still anticipating its release. Recent reports indicate that Samsung postponed the One UI 7 beta indefinitely to prioritize the broader rollout of One UI 6.11. As of now, the latest stable update from Samsung is only available on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6. According to Samobile, the new target date for Samsung's Android 15 beta program is September. If this proves accurate, Galaxy users eager to participate will need to wait a few more weeks. However, it's wise to remain cautious, as the One UI 7 beta launch date has been difficult to pin down, even for typically reliable sources. In July, reports suggested that One UI 7 required significant work before it would be usable, which contradicted other claims of an imminent release. In hindsight, it seems the former reports were more accurate. Regarding One UI 6.11, Samobile notes that Samsung has initiated the update for the Galaxy A35 in South Korea. Interestingly, a screenshot accompanying the report labels the update as One UI 6.1 although the source insists it is indeed One UI 6.11, just displayed differently. Let's hope this latest leak holds true and that Samsung finally launches its Android 15 beta program in September. What are your thoughts on this? Share them in the comments below. Samsung's upcoming One UI 7.0 beta is just around the corner, and from what we've seen in leaks, it's going to bring big changes to Samsung devices, more than we've seen in recent updates. Some details are confirmed, while others are still just rumors. We gathered all the information we know so far about One UI 7.0 and the features we can expect from Samsung's Android interface. Expected features of One UI 7.0 Here's a list of all the features expected in One UI 7.0. New stock icons. The default icons will get a complete makeover with more rounded shapes and distinct colors, making them easier to tell apart. Changes will be noticeable for icons like Camera, Gallery, Settings, and Samsung Internet. Bold App Icons Inspired by iOS 18, you'll be able to choose a bold view for app icons, making them larger and hiding the app names. If you prefer, you can switch back to the normal view with labels. Updated Quick Settings Panel The Quick Settings Panel will feature rounded hill-shaped blocks for brightness and volume controls. The toggles will take up less space but can be expanded for a detailed view. Split Notifications Tray Samsung will add a new option to show notifications on a separate page from Quick Settings. You might need to pull down from the left for notifications and from the right for Quick Settings, or you can keep them combined if you prefer. Dynamic Island Style Notifications One UI 7.0 will include a feature similar to Apple's Dynamic Island. A small pill-shaped notification will appear on the left side of the status bar and can be expanded with a long press. Pill-shaped battery icon. The battery icon will also get a rounded pill-shaped redesign with the battery percentage displayed inside. Smoother UI animations. App animations will be faster and more responsive, with new animations for opening, closing, and returning to previous pages. App lock. You'll be able to lock apps with a passcode, password, or pattern, and possibly use biometrics to unlock them. It's unclear if Samsung will include the new privacy features from Android 15. Live Activities on Lock Screen Samsung will add a feature similar to iOS Live Activities, allowing you to track things like ongoing songs or Uber rides on your lock screen. You can long press to see more details. More resizable widgets Expect new widgets for the home and lock screens with more resizing options, giving you more flexibility in how you use them. Cross-device continuity You'll be able to send notifications, incoming calls, or video calls to other Galaxy devices that use the same Samsung account. New Camera App Layout The Camera app will have a new layout with controls and options at the bottom, making it easier to reach with one hand. Camera modes like Portrait and Night Mode will be below the shutter button. Bixby with LLM There's a possibility that Bixby will get an upgrade with LLM capabilities, including features like voice transcription and real-time translation. Dark theme for app icons. 
app icons might get a darker look when you switch to dark mode, similar to iOS 18. Vertical app drawer. A vertical app drawer may be introduced, available through a good lock module. It will scroll vertically with a search bar at the bottom for easier one-handed use. These are the features we currently expect with One UI 7.0. It's clear that this update is set to bring some major changes to the interface. What do you think about One UI 7.0? Is there a particular feature you're most excited about? Let us know in the comments. Release date and supported devices. The beta version of One UI 7.0 was initially expected to start in early August, but has been delayed to later this month. This delay might be to wait for the official release of Android 15 before rolling out the beta. Based on previous release patterns, we can anticipate the stable version of One UI 7.0 to be available around September or October for the newest Galaxy S24 series. After that, it will gradually be released for older models and mid-range devices. However, not all features may be available on every device, especially on budget models. Supported Devices One UI 7.0 will first be rolled out to Samsung's latest flagship devices, including the Galaxy S24 series, Z Fold 6, and Z Flip 6. It will then be made available for older devices. When the beta is released, we'll be among the first to cover it, so be sure to check back for the latest updates. What's your take on this? Let me know in the comments section.